Hello everyone, this is Suzette from the Free J. Thank you for listening to our channel, our videos where my husband and I share lots of good food for the soul. Today I just wanted to share a little something. It's a little scripture in the book of Ezekiel in chapter 39. I'm just going to read verses 25 through 29. I believe here that the Lord is restoring Israel. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, now I will restore the fortunes of Jacob and have mercy on the whole house of Israel. And I will be jealous for my holy name. They shall forget their shame and all the treachery they have practiced against me when they dwell securely in their land with none to make them afraid. When I have brought them back from the peoples and gathered them from their enemies' lands and through them have vindicated my holiness in the sight of many nations. Then they shall know that I am the Lord their God, because I sent them into exile among the nations, and then assembled them into their own land. I will leave none of them remaining among the nations anymore. And I will not hide my face any more from them. When I pour out my spirit upon the house of Israel, declares the Lord. And I was thinking about this chapter because I think about God. I think about how people, they don't, truly get understanding when they say that there's many gods or there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. A lot of people don't actually say those words, but they believe that they're all separate individuals. And God is an individual. The Word of God says that God was manifested in flesh. Flesh, like us, flesh means we're human, we're flesh, and he dwelt among us. When we read the scriptures and he's talking in flesh as Jesus, call him Lord, or we call him Lord God. Let me go back a little bit. A lot of people that believe that there's God the Father, then God the Son, and then there's the Holy Spirit. They say that there's three individuals. And they say that Jesus came in the New Testament. I'm talking about how people believe there's three different gods, or they believe in Jesus separate from God. They say that he's flesh and he's the Lord Jesus and that he came in the New Testament. This is the Old Testament I'm reading. And he says in verse 28 here, then they shall know that I am the Lord their God. If they believe that Jesus is separate, unless they believe that there's Lord God and Lord Jesus, but I'm just sharing this because this is what I'm understanding when as I'm reading this. And then in verse 29, he says, And I will not hide my face anymore from them. When I pour out my spirit upon the house of Israel, declare, declares the Lord God. So here in this little verse... He's God because he says, declares the Lord. He's Lord. 
a new spirit. But yet, it's God saying all this in the Old Testament. So, how is it in the New Testament that we're going to separate all these? And I say these because I'm I'm talking about the people that believe there's God the Father, there's God the Son, there's God the Holy Spirit. They're three separate beings, they say, but yet one, one or something like that. But he's not saying that. This is the Old Testament here. He's saying, and I will not hide my face anymore from them when I pour out my spirit upon the house of Israel, declares the Lord God. So I just wanted to share that because sometimes I think about people, I think about how they struggle or just sometimes they just don't get what God is saying. But I truly believe when you believe who God is, when you just believe who God is, God, the Father, the Creator, the Savior, then you you can receive a relationship with Him. You can receive His understanding. You can receive Him. And then you can see all the beautiful examples of how he shows in his word or he shows to you personally who he really is. That's it for today. I'll be back soon. God bless.